Hello my beautiful Capricorns, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller Divine Light and today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for the next four weeks and this is going to be about money, career, financials, what else is more coming into your life in this materials world and at the end of your reading I'm going to pull some cards to get more clarity to a question in your mind. This reading is intended for sun, moon and rising signs if you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. I will also leave a link up here in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can go ahead and book your reading from there. I also want to thank every single one of you for being here, being an amazing support to the channel. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. Let's jump into your reading. Let's see what is coming your way. There is actually, there are two different types of opportunities showing here within maybe towards the end of the second week. Can be like chunks of money. I see a new pathway opening. Good opportunity coming. I see a baby's face here. This can be like a new beginning also. Kind of looks like a fish as well here with a tail. There's a massive chunk of money here again towards the end of the second week. Hmm. I'm trying to see the source of it, but it's not 100% clear yet. I see something or like a big fish is actually pushing it towards you. Um, this can be a business deal that you're going to be signing with someone. Maybe they're going to be being referenced to the work that you do. Or uh, also the big fish can be the place that you're working at. Maybe your um, f the place that you actually make the real money. That can be um, expanding into a different, a new, better opportunity for you. I see the, there's actually like a person wearing a crown right there. This can be an upgrade or someone who has like some sort of authority. There's a fish, uh, there's, I'm sorry, a bird in front of them getting in touch with you. There's a beautiful crowd here that you are actually kind of looks like waves as well uh, this can be a crowd that you're aligned with maybe you're entering into stepping into a crowd that you're aligned together with and i see here sales setting sales this kind of reminds me the energy of the three of wands there are three sales uh, i think two sales in front of the the merchant that wants to travel and this can be this beautiful crowd, this new opportunity can be actually bringing into your life a new adventure. Okay, uh, this can have the opportunity of travel and maybe the opportunity of travel can be to another state or a city or maybe like to another country, nearby country. And also, uh, this is actually kind of reminds me a face of a person with a mustache. Uh, coming through maybe someone with authority or maybe this is an authority figure that you're coming to an agreement with and getting their taking their hand or uh, maybe they're handing you over the skills that they have or the position they have i see a number eight here kind of symbolizes the certain the symbol of uh, eternity as well when we look at it sideways so this um, conversation, communication, this phone line, whatever it is that you're creating with this person, um, this is going to be something for the long term. I see another eight here, by the way. Eight also means material satisfaction, okay? So the relationships that you're forming right now with the people and the connections that you're forming with the people in power is actually brings stability into your life and maybe even material satisfaction for the long term. Even though this is like the next four weeks, it feels like it's going to be affecting your life in the long term. The steps that you're taking right now, I see a bear can be symbolizing someone with a lot of power and someone actually like handing, um, bringing the bears towards you. Uh, maybe this is like a connection that you have bringing someone with authority towards you. And I see a dog right under here. A dog symbolizes the, the loyalty 
of this character, okay? Um, so this can be new friendships, partnerships forming right now. Maybe you are looking for a job. Um, there can be the recruiter connecting you with a high power upgraded company and maybe you're going to start working for them and the, the dog symbolizes that they're going to have loyalty towards you, towards the work that you're creating, the things that you're doing. I see in your heart, there's not much of a clarity. Like I said, I see a chunk of money coming forward here. Let's see um, if there's any symbols. This kind of looks like a mask to me, okay? Um, like I said, there wasn't much clarity. Again, we see a mask here. So this can be a masked blessing it's not very clear at this moment the only thing i see there is actually kind of looks like a mushroom and the star star aquarius energy mushroom can actually be because it's a fast uh, growing multiplying and self-growing um thing here so it is the opportunity of fast growth okay uh when you step into this thing and it feels like here you're intuitively being guided okay your intuition will make the things clear here for you i see a legal paper here this can be some sort of a legal victory that you're going to gain but before you get to that i see someone who has a candle above their head this person can be your wish fulfillment candle on top of their head can be symbolizing the desire and the wish that you have maybe you're sending out a prayer or making a wish and sending that desire to the universe. This can be symbolizing that as well. Or this person can be your desire. Or you can be the desire of this person. Also, this can be in like, um, um, you know, you might have reciprocity here, okay? So maybe you are praying for a job and this job is praying for someone like you. Maybe you're praying for a money, an opportunity, and this opportunity is praying for someone like you to show up so they can actually hand over this opportunity, okay? So what you're looking for is actually looking for you. What you're praying for is actually praying for you as well, okay? Uh, so it is going to, knowing that, this knowing feeling is actually make it easier and faster for you to receive this blessing. Another, I see a bunny. Bunny is also symbolized as wealth and fast growing uh, opportunities fast growing wealth it is also the symbol when you see on the queen of pentacles there is a bunny in the picture bunnies also symbolizes the abundance and you are a queen of pentacles your feminine side is the queen of pentacles so you are in the optimum position to create your heart's desire right now i see there's a male figure with like massive hair and the hair he has a person also like um um the they're in my hair kind of like that's a saying that somebody is actually being annoyed by the other person that is actually duty annoying so this person can be someone who has one two three four different people in their hair and uh maybe they are dealing with a situation that you have expertise okay so uh this can be a teaching that just came to my mind maybe there are some teaching if you're a teacher um, some people might need uh, their children might need classes or um, maybe you are actually a good problem solver in a situation maybe you do perfect paperwork and somebody needs these kind of paperwork get done and that person is actually come across uh, your path they're going to be on your path so they might have the capacity to pay very well this kind of looks like a face here by the way uh, you might, um, this can be the face, this can be actually a character that you're going to be connecting with, and they might require your services, but um, you need to be offering first, because I see a small paper that you're going to come up with an offer, and then they're going to come up with the counter offer, and even maybe accepting your offer and signing the contract with you. I just gave the example of the things that popped into my head, the first thing, but it doesn't have to be that way, it can be something different that you're offering. And even the services that you're providing to your full-time job can be something turned into a part-time thing on the side as well. This can be an extra income coming forward for you. And it seems like within the second week, you might get connection. You might get in touch with this person. We have the number five here, kind of indicates playfulness, exploration, and change. So also travel as well. So this can be a uh, new opportunity, can put you in a position. Maybe you can travel, you can have fun and do other different activities okay in order to pursue that 
and I see there's a chunk of money here also appearing right under the male figure so it can be that extra income extra force coming into your life through this thing okay i see a male figure here with this like a massive kind of like a troll hair i don't know if you know the trolls uh it is actually a cartoon and like they had this little figures with magical hair kind of looks like that this person mm -hmm. this can be like a magical opportunity showing up for you through someone creative mm, i also see here a peacock the head of a peacock and the body is forming letter i is present this can be in the first name or the last name of someone like irene maybe um lily also so uh peacock indicates actually showing off your skill set okay if you have anything preparing the best resume like maybe portfolio if you have any displaying that in a way that they cannot actually you know take advantage of it but you know creating and displaying your work and even at work if you have accomplished something do not hide behind the curtain let it known that you are the one actually taking care of this thing because you're going to be very visible at this time if you hide yourself yes you can be hidden however if you're not hiding uh, that showing yourself can actually bring more opportunities into your life okay and the legal paper symbolizes maybe a legal contract that you're going to be signing this can be symbolizing a big purchase that you're going to be doing or um like um, a contract that you're being offered um even can be like a plane ticket or a uh, maybe a visa application maybe working permit that you're going to be getting from another country can also mean that okay this new place that you're going to be stepping in has two even three dinosaurs here dinosaur body a human women head and there's a house the house has a heart shape upside down however it still has it so um dinosaurs can symbolize maybe a very established high quality big company or three different dinosaurs mean three different giants in the sort of area that you want to work in and uh, they're going to be coming up with an offer the house that you're going to actually they are building a house for you or they are helping you build a house for yourself or start something new and i also see another woman here with the white hair dark darker skin i guess she's going to be the final person coming together and helping you out there's a smiley face here so she's going to tie all these good things together in your life okay the house can be maybe a purchase or the house can be creating a home for yourself with this three giant these three giants can be three the giant companies maybe you having a house under the roof it can symbolize that as well let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire an intention hold it in your mind let's see what the answer is going to be for that i kind of saw like an exclamation mark for a short period of time here i see a woman she has a massive bouquet of flowers this is actually your receiving power so not only like putting out there being the mask and taking action when something good is offered to you it's time to accept that offer uh, and you are taking that big bouquet in your hand you can see the women she has a big bouquet kind of looks like a star as well star is actually a symbol of aquarius also in tarot it is about wish fulfillment okay it's about like reaching to your goals making things happen and um it's in your the middle of your heart middle of your house so it is going to be very beneficial for you it's going to be your heart's desire being fulfilled I see someone tall holding a wand the with the hat maybe a cloak it can, reminds me of a virgo it reminds me of the hermit energy so um, maybe the information that you collected needs to be kept hidden for a while if you are actually looking for it you're actually closing one cycle and opening up a new one in your life and uh, that is going to be changing the course the direction of your financial security also the hermit energy is telling me maybe you have already collected a good information about a situation and uh, maybe or you have the upper hand 
but it is good to just go back into your shell and reassess and uh, maybe organize that information organize that experience and uh, find the best way to use it reverse it on your behalf okay and you can see in the hermit's lantern he has a star already star means wish fulfillment so this is actually going to happen after you receive your desire Ace of Pentacles symbolizes an amazing new beginning uh, with financials, maybe buying a new car, a new house, if that's the goal that you're going after. We have the Two of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, Lovers. Let me see what I have here with the Lovers card. Okay. Lovers which is uh, kind of symbolizes a choice. Five of Swords, a massive great victory. Page of cups and the tower and the hermit okay and the emperor okay let's get to it what we have here initially is you're going to be starting something brand new which is going to be a financial a source of financial security um a new maybe a school going to school a travel opportunity buying a new home a new car any type of that good stuff uh, starting something new maybe starting a new school a new education Two of, two of swords can be telling you you might have to choose something there might be an either or situation here and we have the queen of cups can be a feminine character with cancer pisces scorpio uh, with their zodiac sign this person can be someone highly giving and forgiving and maybe self-sacrificing a little bit this can be also your feminine side maybe in the moment of choice you would rather choose the things that is sacrificing yourself rather than choosing the things that is actually beneficial for you and this is kind of like um actually telling you to reassess the situation because you might be having doubts about if the seeds that you're planting is going to grow you might be having that kind of like uh, doubtful thoughts because the seven of pentacles usually symbolizes <clears throat> being like he's thinking here he's like oh is this going to worth it i planted all the seeds i worked on this crops all this long am i going to be selling it maybe that's like the, the concern in his mind so rather than choosing self-sacrifice maybe going with the things that is more beneficial for you and more is going to benefit for your crops is more important here this can even be maybe if you're working on a project with somebody else and they put you in a situation that you had to choose rather than choosing their benefit it's okay to just you know cover your back first and then maybe serve their highest good is okay we have here the lovers card the lovers card can be symbolizing um let me cover him up a little bit here it can be symbolizing a choice okay also this can be a perfect partnership perfect union and maybe the decision that you're making is actually going to bring the perfect choices into your life perfect soulmate connections soulmate connections doesn't have to be always regarding love this can also be the soulmate connection can be about uh, you actually finding perfect partner in your business okay perfect job that you align greatly so but you might also be given a choice and making the right choice in this moment can also be very important that will probably lead you to five of swords moment and a victory okay he actually collected all the swords of the losers here he gained at all costs so eventually the choices that you actually take one after the another is going to lead you to your victory okay Page of Cups can symbolize an offer coming, falling into your hands. An offer can be emotionally fulfilling financial offer as well. But eventually, it doesn't really matter. Like, this is going to be the option that you're going to be choosing uh, what makes you happy, okay? And that will hmm, end up with a tower moment. Tower is aligning with the Seven of Pentacles. The things that you're doubting might actually end up being a uh, wreckage. So maybe it is that your intuition is speaking to you in a way that um, rather than following the well-traveled road, maybe take another different path. The tower moment also describes that maybe there's a structure that you're in, financial structure that is actually crumbling down. This can be maybe your financial spending habits. This is an example, okay? And that is coming to an end, which is a good thing. And at, at the term, it's actually symbolizing that you're going to have the chance to 
analyze and the star in the hermit's lantern symbolizes the wish fulfillment so even though this thing coming to this crumbling down this can also be something working on your behalf that's why maybe it is showing up as your manifestation but this will also give you the time to assess maybe uh, create a new strategy financially for you to follow eventually i have the emperor here if this is a career goal that you have you might be actually um taking a leadership position okay maybe you are leading with power you are creating being the powerful position this is aries this can also be an aries actually showing up to maybe give you the support that you need at the moment okay powerful character leadership uh, has the leadership skills and independent and original this can also be someone like you becoming that four of swords symbolizes that you might have to put some things to rest or if you're feeling indecisive again uh, it's okay to spend some time in meditation and prayer nine of swords symbolizes that maybe you are fearful of this tower moment some things are coming to an end you're feeling fearful of that and nine of wands is maybe it is pushing you to draw some boundaries be strong and be a little bit um, defensive in the situation this thing coming to an end but we have two nines nine actually and here the three nine with the hermit this is symbolizing an enlightenment something coming to an end a completion okay your passion actually paying very well your, your patience i'm sorry your patience is paying very well and we have the ace of cups emotionally fulfilling new this is actually in the, uh, usually in the, um, interpreted as in the love but i feel like this is actually um, something that you would love to be a part of this can be a job opportunity this can be a financial um new investment opportunity or something coming to you being offered to you which will change the whole structure which will change the whole thing here uh, that your doubts actually coming out as um, a disappointment coming to an end and giving you some sort of a power with this emperor energy and that will attract you this higher perspective this um, new opportunity new offer which will make you extremely happy at the end of the day okay let's see what else we have here for you co-create we have the owl we have the cheetah fast energy and intuition so masculine and feminine coming together here co-create means that if you can find compatible energies you can create better with them this can be people this can be um like mindset the mindset that you have the, usually people i feel like um coming together with the same type of a mindset the people that have with you what kind of sentence was that okay this can be about coming together with the people who has the same type of mindset with you okay so and uh, no place like home maybe the people they feel like home is very important or maybe from your hometown and also we have the round and round energy coming forward here maybe you are going around the same cycle and the same circle okay same thought patterns but yeah time for a nap instead of just jumping into because the time to jump to time to create with the aries energy the the uh, ace of cups energy is going to come okay you're going to know when to actually start taking action but in the meantime co-creation is actually cultivating the energy maybe speaking your um manifestation speaking your plans to outside maybe giving them a body giving them a structure and maybe focusing on the people that feels like home that support you all the time and just being around them instead of going down the road because i see like two these are all sleeping going down the road out the same thinking patterns maybe because you're putting yourself down all the time and this is causing the black the thing block the blessings coming instead of just going down this path you might be actually taking a nap and resting yeah resting in the sense of meditating diving into that deep meditation world with the hermit energy or prayer uh, rather than just going into the negative cycle okay 
we have here the action yeah the time of action will come 17 is the number here 17 can be uh the 17th of the month coming up seven eight eight of the month one seven is actually um july 7th no yeah july 1st i'm sorry july 1st can be also a timeline to take action and i also see here 27 coming forward walking away so take the action necessary and walk away from that that energy is the people situation circumstances that doesn't serve you anymore that's another advice coming forward here seems like resting making a decision make, following your intuition is very important here when it comes to financial decisions but at the same time uh when the time comes when it's just the universe is blinking you sing, sending you the signals taking action is also very important and walking away from the things that don't serve you anymore also another message we have we have the activated earth coming forth power places ley lines trust where you're led okay very clear message here so co-creation can be the people the places that you need uh coming up showing up for you and the ley lines is telling you activated earth your path will be made clear even though you don't feel clarity right now time for a nap take a rest a little bit take uh, gather your energy because you're going to be jumping into this thing with full power okay we have water your garden there you go nourishment body care tenderness as rest again here this can be also like i don't know like the, there are a lot of uh, planetary moments happening right now that can be also affecting your energy so if you're feeling tired it's good to take a break okay rather than forcing things to come the things to happen uh taking a break is can be very important and the key uh so you can actually um you know connect with this higher energy is better and the message is coming to you you might be hearing it might actually help you be in the moment so you can hear the opportunities coming seeing the opportunities coming i have here this black um i'm not gonna say black because we have a white one here too so they both showed up so uh let's see this can be like yin yang seeing the darker side on the lighter side of the things and embracing all of them okay so it's not about color it's about like the feeling of it so uh the things that you see as bad can be turning out to be great and good and the things that you see as light and also harmless can be actually bad for you so be in the knowing of that have faith in yourself and in in higher powers they lead you in dark times even when you feel you have lost guidance let go of who you think you should be and embrace who you are also these are the two messages coming forward here for you finally i have your spirit animal here let's see what kind of spirit animal coming forward and guiding you we had fire animals came forth for the other earth signs let's see what you are actually manifesting we have the bear i think bear is an earth animal let's see bear usually symbolizes in some decks um someone powerful with a lot of strength and power and authority yes this is earth and uh, this can also be like you gaining the power and authority in the things that you do or maybe coming across that powerful authority that you need in your life okay maybe like attracting that authority that person or uh becoming like i mentioned becoming that okay okay where is this one here waking from spiritual slumber beginning anew so yeah when you go through it it's gonna come to an end it's not gonna last forever and uh after a long winter the bear arises from deep slumber at first the movement and effort are difficult but the bear knows it's time to awaken and move toward the dawning light the bear car represents an individual on the cusp of new directions and personal transformation the initial weeks and months of the spiritual quest may feel tricky cumbersome and full of obstacles but you have no choice bear Winter wanes and the warmth of spring emerges and your transformation begins. When in balance, you feel a lot of inner strength. This can use actually, you can use bear as a symbol, spirit animal. 
and uh, this might give you the yearning to grow but when you're feeling out of balance you might feel a little bit lethargy heaviness and withdrawal so bring more uh, balance into your life if you're feeling like uh, you want to cultivate this energy but you're not finding the power within yourself moving your body exercising can actually start to connect with you with this higher energy okay right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye